Hello, my name is Ben Popple, and I'm the engineering manager here at Liberty Oil Field Services. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about powdered guar and friction reducers. Guar and its derivatives have been a mainstay of frac fluid chemistry pretty much since the beginning of hydraulic fracturing. Traditionally, sacks of guar were cut and dumped into frac tanks and circulated in the tank until a homogeneous linear gel was established. However, this could lead to problems with poor mixing and bacteria if the gel was left too long. This degraded the fluid system and was very labor intensive. Eventually, guar powder was mixed with mineral oil and a suspension package to create liquid guar slurry. This liquid slurry made mixing on the fly much easier. Crews were able to mix the amount of linear gel they needed for the stage as the job went along. The downside to liquid guar slurries is that instead of just the guar powder being brought to location, the base oil and other additives for it must be mixed at a plant. These extra materials, labor, and transport add cost to the job. This is where modern day on the fly dry mixing units come in. These units allow for mixing on demand like slurry mixing units. There are cost savings to both raw materials and shipping when using one of these units. While material handling of very fine powder can be tricky, the cost saving can be dramatic over a slurry. Polyacrylamide friction reducers have been used in the frac world for years. Traditionally, we used emulsions of this polyacrylamide as a liquid additive to help reduce pipe friction and increase rate on slick water jobs. In more recent times, FR slurries have become more common. These slurries are polyacrylamide powder mixed with a mineral oil very similar to how guar slurries are made. This allows almost double the amount of active ingredient per gallon over an emulsion. This can drastically reduce shipping costs for the product. Over the past few years, there have been many attempts at running dry FR powder. They've had various degrees of success. However, these dry on the fly FR units are becoming more common in the market and for good reason. The cost savings for running dry FR can be significant because there is less manufacturing and material costs, plus the shipping costs come down. If you'd like to learn more about these or other Liberty technologies, we'd be more than happy to discuss applications with you. Check us out at libertyfrac.com. And as always, keep calm and frack on.